Good day everyone, FlyingCow1 here, and today I am back with another house tutorial. Today I'm going to be doing a modern house, <coughs> and the blocks that I plan on using are oak planks, quartz, oak slabs, spruce slabs, spruce planks, lanterns, I'm going to be using light, or no, gray, yeah, gray stained glass panes. I might be using some grass blocks and I'm going to be using black terracotta. Now this is a free build so I'm going to be I'm going to be winging it kind of. I'm going to just be going along and I will be explaining what I do as I build it. <coughs> so yeah I don't really quite have too much of a plan except for the building materials that I'm going to be using and what I am going to be doing with them. So yeah, let's just let's just start off with the block of quartz. This is going to be what the house mainly consists of, and I'm just going to build a two wide doorway right here. Dang, I cannot place blocks today. A two by three doorway right there. That'll be the main entrance into this house. And I think I will have it extend out a little bit. Now let's build a let's build a window right there. And let's dig out this grass. <coughs> and this is all on the PS4, so <coughs> excuse my um, building. I'm still getting kind of used to how to, to play from transitioning from the like PC to PS4. It's a lot harder to place blocks, so I'm going to have to just get used to it. But now that we've got this down, I think we will put down the frame. Something that I've noticed in modern houses in Minecraft that makes them look very nice is just the detail of having this... Uh, if it's white, then having a black frame that sticks out and kind of runs along the entire house. I think that that's a strong detail to have when you're making these. <coughs> so let's continue on right here. I think I will... Yeah, I think that'll look okay. I'm gonna have a little vent wall thing here. I don't know the exact word to call them, I just call them vents when you go one half block and then one half empty space, one half block, one half empty space. I just like to call those vents. So we're going to build one of those right here. These usually look pretty good on <coughs> modern houses as well. Let's see, here's what it looks like so far if you're going block to block. Put that like that. And then this could either go up and over, or it could just go straight. I think it looks... Let's see what it looks like if it, if it just goes straight across. Hmm. You know, it could go either way. I'm gonna go up and over for now. And I think this will be the corner of this house. I'm gonna have a one by what is that? One by five, one by four window right here. I could actually have two of those right on top of each other, which I think I will do actually now that I've got it laid out. 
and um, to answer some of your guys' questions from the comments, the reason why I do these free builds instead of planning out tutorials is because I like to show my thought process as I'm building the all these builds and I like to have it be very authentic and uh, natural as well and I think it's a good idea that not a lot of people do at least that I've seen I don't see a lot of these free build tutorials out there so that's why I'm doing them I think what I'm gonna do here is extend that yeah that looks fine and then this side of the house is gonna be a little shorter so this door is gonna be more towards the right side <coughs> make a window that is same as the door at 2 by 3 also on these modern houses I like to have um, a dyed glass either gray light gray or white maybe I don't like to have the normal glass because I usually just use that for normal houses so the light the light gray or the gray stained glass I usually find best for these types of builds I also like having the spruce planks as the floor with the white walls because I think it contrasts nicely So this is going to be what the f whole floor of the house is going to be. There aren't going to be any patterns in it. It's just going to be plain spruce planks. I didn't actually need to dig out that part. It's going to be where the wall is. So let's put that wall down right there. Now right here, we could have... just a random portion of the wall be wood just so that it isn't a plain wall because plain walls don't normally look that great on these modern houses I found or on really any house there has to be some kind of some kind of pattern or some kind of anything some kind of texture some kind of design on these walls to make it a really good build that is pleasing to look at so right here I think this is a good this is a good front of the house we'll probably add a little thing on top a little room on on the top of the house to make it look a little better so let's do that right now actually let's put down the ceiling which will be gonna have a oak wood ceiling right here and this will also be like a little patio That's kind of small actually. I'm gonna need to fix that. So this is gonna go back a little farther. 
maybe like that it's not too bad so this this part right here that I'm building probably going to add stairs on it to the from the back side and then it'll be all open right there no no not right there it'll be an opening right there to walk in and then this is going to be the bedroom wow this house is bigger than I expected this video is probably going to be very long light this place up I'm gonna place some lanterns down right here oh that's gotta love the lantern sound that it makes let's place this part of the house right here I'm gonna leave it like that I'm not gonna cover that up because it adds some interior design as well see this house it lo it has the same interior as it does exterior there's not two layers but it still looks good from the interior and exterior of the house with the modern design so I like to keep it that way and not also if you're building this in survival which I doubt a lot of people will end up doing um, it does save some quartz quartz blocks so let's go on the outside this is what we have so far now <clears throat> and this part right here I will go ahead and just fill in it would actually work I have to individually click it every time for some reason to place a block Now let's finish off this section. I think I'm going to end the high ceiling where it starts over there. And we could actually go ahead and just have the same pattern right there, which I think I will do. I think we're going to do that. Now for this side right here, hmm. I don't know what to do with you. I guess we can just fill this in with some more wood right there. Let's have the lining up. We don't need to have wood right there if we're going to have this on the outside. Actually, I'll keep it like that. Yeah, as you can see, I'm, I'm kind of just messing around with the ideas of where to place all this black terracotta lining right now so let's have this go down and it'll end right there and then there will be over here we'll start up again and that'll kind of be like a big open patio area for this house so let's uh, build that up right there place down some of these
think right here I'm going to place down a window it will be five oops nope it's gonna have to be four and then there will be another window right here that's just gonna be two and then this right here will just be blank wall where the terracotta could go down yeah we're gonna have it go down right there and it could also go down in this corner right here let's see what that looks like all right that doesn't look bad doesn't look bad at all so this is what the house looks like so far It's looking pretty good. Once we fill this floor in, let's put these windows in right here. Once we put that floor in, it'll look much more complete. Which I don't know if I'm going to <coughs> do on this video or not, because that just takes so long to just dig out and place all those blocks. I mean, it's not too many right now, but right here we're going to put a window we're gonna have it be three tall three by two window and then this section of the house also needs the black terracotta frame so let's put that on there see how it looks like that we're gonna put another vent right here we're gonna have it be the dark color now the spruce spruce wood Oops. Let's see how that looks. Uh, honestly, I could get rid of this this portion right there. And then this honestly should probably be either wider or it should, I should just take it out and turn it into a window which I might actually do so there that's how that looks yeah I mean that definitely doesn't look doesn't look too bad I might have to take that out and turn it into a window though maybe flip those around turn them into windows And then this all right here can all just be solid because it's going to be a bedroom. And they definitely want their privacy. So yeah, the majority of this build is now done. Now all we need to do is just cover up some little, finish up some little details such as the roof for this part right here and the stairs for this house. What we're gonna do for the stairs, I think we're going to, well, let's fill this in first. But I think what we're going to do is we're gonna have wooden stairs that come from the patio area. So this right here, once we dig this out, this will be a little patio.
And then there will be some stairs that will spiral up. So yeah, these stairs are very twisty and turny, but that will be what those stairs look like to go up into there. And then all we have is the roof to finish off in this area. We're going to give it a spruce roof. We're just going to put the slabs down right there. Probably put some lanterns in here. Just place one right there, one right there for now. And then we also need to finish off the frame right there. put down some oak slabs to cover up this and make it blend in with the rest of the roof. And there you have it once we dig out this grass, fill it in with the spruce planks, then we're going to have our completed house right here. I'm not going to decorate the interior just because that is something that I'm not good at for one, that's the main reason why. And I feel like this video is going to be long enough as it is. And I think that's just something that the, uh, the person who builds the house should do on their own. Because I feel like it, it might just take the fun out of it if you just have someone else do everything for you. And not have any of your own little ideas of what you want to do with your own place. So yeah, of course I'm going to leave that up to you guys to decide what you want to do on the inside. Uh, I'd like to take this time right now while I'm just filling this in to just thank everybody for watching this video. Uh, go ahead and leave a comment down below and see. tell me what else you want to see me make. Don't forget to check out my other videos such as the house over there and that one over there. I believe those have already been posted if you're watching this one. So don't forget to check those out. I really like both those houses. I think they turned out well. I think this one turned out pretty okay as well. I think I'm going to have to make another modern house tutorial though. Until I get one that I really, really like down. Because this one, it's not bad. But I feel like I could make one that could be a little, little better. But yeah, like I said, it's not it's not bad. So yeah, here's what the finished product looks like. It's a small modern house. It did turn out pretty good. But yeah, again, thank you everybody for watching this video. Hope you enjoyed it. Go ahead and leave a like and subscribe if you want to see more content like this. I will keep you guys posted. I post uh Two to, two to three times a week at the moment. I might be thinking of doing daily uploads if they start getting more views. But yeah. There's the build, guys. Hope you all enjoy it. And I will see you all in the next one. Peace.